good this time. You know, I'm gonna give you some money, but next time I give you more money when you bring the grades up. And, and we make the next block, and the kids running out, stop them. Hey, hey, Mr. Stokes, Mr. Stokes, look at my report card. So this is things people don't see in the media about my good friend Councilman Stokes, and we hope he be back next week. I know his listeners really be trying to catch him. And put, right. Uh, right. Know. And he's not just out of town enjoying himself. He's acting on official city business in conjunction with Jackson State University. Right. Nice. And uh, my we, university, we're getting closer to. Uh, let me let me piggyback off that off of that. If I if there are anonymous donors or anon- anonymous people out there that want to kind of stay in the shadows, give our big John Williams a call. And uh, it's not necessarily supporting any particular platform. Let's just support the city of Jackson and right. Hines County. Absolutely. So uh, Big John Williams needs a, I don't know if you want to give out his personal number, but... Uh, well, they can catch me at that number again. Okay, that number again is 601-960-1090. And that phone is actually... Uh, ringing to you? Yeah. Okay, and that means if anyone out there that's anonymous, and we're not putting the color on it because our money is green, right. then please don't hesitate to be a part of the initiative to save the uh, the city and also, not save, but rescue. Right. We want to rescue the city and we want to rescue Hines County and those people inside of it. Now, my friend Danny Ray has been an uh, activist here in the city for years. He's actually a businessman now, uh, well, been one for the longest. What is that, Demo? Demo? Uh, it's Demo Auto Repair. Demo Auto Repair. You're, You're the mix of the mechanic tires. thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know. Now, but now, you know, most business people that I run into, one of their main subjects is crime. Mm-hmm. So this last minute or so we have, can you just uh, give us a brief, your brief thought on the crime situation here in Jackson? Well, the situation with the crime here in Jackson uh, I think in some aspects, and there are a variety of aspects, but this one particular that comes to mind is a lack of uh, men stepping forward, uh, you know, mentors. When I was coming up, you had Mr. Lee that had a baseball uh, team. That's Geno Lee's grandfather. Uh, you had uh, Mr. Cowan that had a baseball team in the neighborhood. And, I mean, I played ball year-round. You had others that was uh, that would step forward and help the youth in the community, like Gene Young. Just some of the people that 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 comes to mind at this particular time that really cared back when there was really a struggle. There's a struggle now. It is. But at the same time, we have the solutions and the answers if we just put them in effect. You know, and that goes back to poor me. You know, a mm-hmm. uh, 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 pity me. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And my point to the, the whole crime thing is you don't have to be a criminal, although there will be criminals because there will always be crime. But at the same time, the mentorship of the black man will outweigh all of that if we can catch these young men at an early age and mold and make them. Yeah, like they did us. Yeah, like they did us, right. you know, back then. We could have went, I could have went Valid. any direction. Valid point. You know what I'm saying, any direction. I know we don't have much time left, but um, I appreciate being a guest this morning. Big John Williams, uh, uh, I could say he was one of my mentors. You know, he went to Lanier and, and, and not much older than me, but at the same time, he reached back and saw the potential that I possessed in music and on radio and pulled me in. And I appreciate that. And he's still reaching back. And he's still reaching, still back. reaching back. He's still reaching yeah. back, getting people and opening doors. In, in closing, let me just throw this out there. Maya Angelou said, nothing will work unless you do. So let's let's get this work in. All right. All right. Well, we gonna, hey, I like that. Uh, you know, it, it keep sending those quotes every morning on, on my cell phone. Four o'clock in the morning. No, 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 man. I'm back up with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe seven. <laughs> That way I can read them. <laughs> at 4 o'clock in the morning, I, I don't really read them at that time. I got you. I got you, Big John. Uh, I see Rail Baby back there. We're going to close his eye with prayer. Hey, Cloud, step in there one day when I'm here and say hi, man. Come on, don't be shy. I know you're not shy. <laughs> so it's always good to see you, Cloud, and hear from you. I want to thank my guest, Howard Sanders from Smith Family Health Clinic. Danny Ray Gilmore, very well-known businessman and, and elder here in the city of Jackson. And... Uh, Real, check us out. All right, all right. Again, once again, uh, give them the name once again. 
uh, that's been in my house with you this morning sitting there for Councilman Stokes. Well, we have Howard Sanders from Smith Family Health Clinic. And we Central, have, Mississippi. Central, yeah, Central Mississippi. Central Mississippi. Yeah, that's, it's Smith Family Health yeah, they, they, they know they, they were Smith more so than Central. <laughs> oh, really old school, really old school. Old school, old school. Central Mississippi Health Services. Okay, and we have uh, Elder Danny Gilmore that goes way back in the city of Jackson, been an activist here for many years, and uh, just so glad to have everybody.